Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today we're going to be talking about modes. So modes in ACDC are how you move from one set of tools to a different set of tools. Specifically, we're going to be talking about develop mode. So develop mode is intended for you to make edits to your images, non-destructive ones. Specifically, it's intended for uh, editing raw images, but it can also edit non-raw images. Uh, this is how you change things like curves and light EQ and things like uh, your white balance in your images or how you crop your images. These are all possible in develop mode. Develop mode is indicated by the icon at the top right. Develop mode is a non-destructive development suite aimed at changing the appearance of raw and non-raw files. When we open up develop mode, we'll see a series of develop tools on the left panel. A film strip containing the rest of the files in your folder on the bottom, the preview panel in the center where your adjustments are displayed, and finally your histogram, presets, and history panel. There are four types of development tools. Tune, which affects color and brightness. Detail, which affects qualities related to sharpness. Geometry, which affects the shape of your image. And repair, which can be used to make spot adjustments. Let's navigate to Tune. Within Tune, we can see a huge variety of adjustments. Open them up to see their respective sliders. Let's increase the clarity slider from within the general tab. Note that a reset icon appears when we adjust a slider. I can click this to reset the adjustment made in the general section. Notice also the blue dot that appears to the right of the reset icon. This icon tells us that changes have been made in this specific section and that we can click it to toggle Show Hide. Next, let's change the white balance. I'll increase the temperature and increase the tint. Finally, let's go to Light EQ and increase the shadows slightly by lowering the midtones and also lowering the highlights. These adjustments so far have been applied to the whole image non-discriminately. Let's now showcase how to make precision adjustments with the brush tool. The brush tool is available in both the Tune tab and the Detail tab. I'm going to click it. The brush tool has its own sliders that are located within the light gray color. Let's increase the contrast below the fishes. To do this, let's increase the contrast slider and begin painting on that contrast below the fishes in the bottom portion of my image. I can click the show brush strokes box at any point to see an overlay of the area of effect. Notice also that I can increase the size of my nib width and the feathering around that nib width. I can revert my image back to its default stage before I made any adjustments by using the reset icon above the tabs. This reset icon will appear slightly larger than the others. If you like your edits and want to use them on other images, you can save a preset. Save a preset by creating a new category and by clicking the plus button. Simply select all if you like all your edits and name the preset. By default, it will be saved to the All category, and you can move it to your new category by right-clicking on it and clicking Set Category. Lastly, the History panel shows all of the actions you've taken on your image. You can revert back to a previous adjustment state by clicking on the name in the History panel or by using the Undo Redo buttons. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other mode videos on their respective pages.